I like the fact that when Jose named this side, he still had a pop at Luke Shaw. Yes, yes he still had a pop well at Luke Shaw. There isn't even a question so he still, had, he still had to knife him just a little bit. Uh, it yeah, doesn't he, look. It doesn't. Uh, what do you make of no Jaden Sancho in this eleven? Oh, and most people's eleven, I think, if you were to ask. I, I think. I think when you when you're trying to pick an England front three, I think it's just opinion because right. as, mm. as good as Jaden Sancho is, you're talking Phil Foden. As good as Grealish is and Mason Man, it doesn't matter who you pick. They've got a good selection. The 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 position I. It puts fear in me if I'm a, if I'm an England fan watching on, is the centre back partnership with Tyrone Mings and John Stones. Yeah, that tells to, that that tells me, and I'm not convinced Gareth Southgate will play with a four. By the way, right, he will play three centre backs in my opinion. So that's where I would worry if I'm a, an England fan. Don, do you and, think there's a prejudice to maybe a player that's not playing in the Premier League? What do you mean? So Jaden Sancho, yeah, well, playing I don't, in I, Germany. Is it? Is it? I don't well, think there kind is. Of away think from. No, I don't think, think it's Gareth. Open? I don't think with Gareth, I think he's, I mean, obviously that's not Gareth's side, but, sure. you know, you're trying to pick and you go, well, Mason Mount's been incredible. Phil Foden's been incredible. Yeah. Jack Grealish could be the player of the tournament. He could be. Yeah. I think I heard, I'm not sure if it was Jose, but someone don't called him, Stevie that. someone called him Figo-like. Like. He's been linked with Paul Gascoigne, like the kid's, the oh, kid's, he's a good star, player. The kid's yeah. stardust, and he could be. So you throw Sancho into the But if the you mix. compare seasons, Sancho has completely eclipsed Grealish's season. I would, I would agree with that in, in terms Particularly of numbers. Particularly the second half of the season. I would agree with that in numbers, yeah. but then you start having a structure. Yeah, but they're different players. Yeah, yeah. and, and he'll, yeah. he'll do me a different type of job. Uh, it, yeah. it's, it's one of them where you have that debate of England's front three and no one's right. I just think talent, it, talent yeah, it's just a good. pure opinion, and that's yeah. great, right, to have that conversation. No one's well, right, no one's he wrong. He brings you this, he brings you that. Well, 12 months ago, right, you, you, if you'd have said 10 months ago, Raheem Sterling's not yeah, in the England 11, oh, he'd have been Incredible. like, and uh, I know he's injured, but and Trent Alexander-Arnold might not make the squad. Mm. That was all the yeah. talk at the time. You'd have been, what, are you crazy? Yeah, right. Because those, you know, right. those players were playing some of the best football of any players in the position in Europe. But going back to your point, Casey, I, I don't, I mean, there might be managers that think this way about you're playing in a certain country. So, but I, I don't think... I would be surprised because the pressure these managers are under, right, from supporters and from the media and from their federations to deliver, surely means that they don't, they don't give a hoot where a player's played. No, it's, no. What can you do for me today? Sure. Yeah. What it should be, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, I don't care if he's playing in stuff. Some backwater league, as long as I think it's a good enough standard and he's the best player for that position in the system, he plays. And that's one of the things I argued. You know, I'm going to go back jokingly to Christian Pulisic, when a lot of viewers were saying, or having a suggestion that Frank Lampard wasn't playing him because he didn't like him or he was American. He's obsessed, didn't he? Yeah. No, obsessed. but I'm, point, I'm trying yeah. to point out with managers, that's not how they think because their job's on the line. Sure. They play... Now, you might not agree with it. I mean, it's like the, the, the team that Pep Guardiola played in the Champions League final. That was who he decided to go with. I don't think there was anybody. Did you agree with that lineup? No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't think there was anybody in this game who said, oh, we thought that was going to be the team. Yeah. But that was his decision, a bad one, because he thought that was going to be the best thing for that game. Right. And that's how Southgate and all the other managers will manage. It's who's in form, who fits mm. the system, and who's going to do the job for me? Because that's going to make me as a manager look good. Right. If I'm taking, making judgments because this guy doesn't play in the Premier League, that, that's just not going to happen. And, and England are obviously looking to go deep in this tournament. Yep. And there's going to be called into if somebody doesn't have a great couple games and you have the squad that England has right now, there's going to be opportunities and that's for just, guys to come in and prove themselves. That's just a Jose 11. Jose might be right. three or four players out. Oh, sure. Jose doesn't care, does he? He got his money for doing the interview, he's and he's, Luke, he's, Luke Shaw on the bench. he's happy. Wasn't he's got Luke produce. Shaw on the bench. It wasn't our producer that asked him, would he? <laughs> he sent all us an email, and we blanked it. Uh, that was it. So he went to Mourinho. He went to Mourinho. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.